Now, we often talk about Tim Flannery on this program. I don't want anybody ever to forget him. You know, he's the climate alarmist, the former climate commissioner. He's an ABC favourite who used to say stuff like this before we entered a couple of years of flooding rains. Even the rain that falls isn't actually going to fill our dams and our, our river system. Even the rain that falls isn't actually going to fill our dams and our, our river system. Well, Flannery has popped up in a new video this week celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Climate Council. That's the private climate alarmist outfit he helped to establish after Tony Abbott axed the Climate Commission. Ten years on, and here we are, we have shaped public opinion. People now know climate change is real and a real threat. Government are inviting us to work with them, so we've come a long way. That's a worry, isn't it? Imagine the Labor government going to this mob for input, actually getting advice from the Climate Council. Now, have a listen to what their CEO says about their role. It seems to be far more about publicity than science. So we established the Climate Media Centre. If you love an animal, climate change is an important issue for you. We established the city's power partnership for local government. We want to embrace renewable energy. We think globally and we act locally. Yeah, thumbs up solar. <laughs> we established emergency leaders for climate action. Communities are increasingly under threat from extreme weather-driven events caused by climate change. We've built a really strong media machine that understands how to get information out there. Yeah, if their aim is to scare people and sheet home every bushfire, every flood and every heatwave to climate change, you'd have to say that have, have had some success, haven't they? Much of the media buys this stuff and it all leads to very emotional responses. I think many people come to the Climate Council because they are seeing climate change around them. They're just very worried about the extreme weather that's coming along and they're worried about, well, what can I do? And I want to do something for my grandkids. And I'm a very angry, very angry grandmother at what's going on. Yeah, the Climate Council is helping to make people angry. Grangry, in fact. How wise is that, given that Australia cannot change the global climate? Nothing we do will change the temperature of the planet. Even the former chief scientist has admitted that. I think the Climate Council ought to concentrate on information and science rather than being proud of themselves for making people scared and angry.